Tell a lie then make a promise Fish like a mad nigga fish Hit nigga this a fucking hit Send a nigga a whole full clip Dramatized by the whole trip What's going on guys it's Garrett and today you guys a new tutorial and this is going to be on how to create your own hexagon logo so this is actually really easy to do and right here is an example that I made really quickly and it's a G and if you go to Google and just type in like hexagon logos you guys will see a bunch of different kind of uh, examples and uh, they're not hard to do at all and uh, it's actually going to take relatively quick probably a few minutes or so and you guys will definitely be able to expand your creativity with this so let's get right into it so if you guys open Photoshop up and just open a uh, new clean document let's just say 1280 by 720 then make the background like black or something all you want to do is right here and create a new layer go all the way to the left right here the rectangle tool is if you hold down on the left click and you guys go to polygon tool this basically can create anything you want. So right up here in the top, there's going to be sides. So you guys can put as many sides as you want. You can even put up to 12, which kind of creates a nice little circle. Um, you guys can pretty much do anything, octagons, hexagons. Uh, I don't even know what else you can do. I don't know, well, only 3 to 100. Well, if you guys want to create a hexagon, what do you want to do is just type in 6, because there's 6 sides in a hexagon. And just pretty much click, hold, shift, and drag downwards. Don't drag anywhere else except for down. And just make it about like six inches or so. Don't don't make it too big. And you can just center it if you want. So well, right here you get the main hexagon kind of feel. All you want to do now is take the fill and put it down to zero. Right click and go to blending options and go to stroke. So you want to put a stroke now on the position on the inside. Make the color white or any color that you want that's uh, different from the background. And you can really mess with how uh, much you want it to be. It doesn't really matter the size of the... Uh, inside it's pretty much your preference i think about 40 would look pretty decent and then you guys got this so far so now that you have this and the fill is on zero you guys have no background on it and it's just a stroke so you guys can see it's just a stroke of it so well that's pretty much the first part of this and the next part is making the inside so if you guys hit Control j and then Control t you can actually shrink this hexagon and keep the same stroke size so you can pretty much just shrink it as little or as much as you want and just keep it right in the middle so uh, right now is when let's just say your creativity comes into play and you guys really have to have your own mind for this and letters do not come easy with some people like Z's come a little hard S's come a little hard but uh, later in the video I'll explain something else so just watch now and as you guys get like a full overview of this so uh, basically let's just say you want to create an A first what do you want to do make a new layer and then let's just say we're gonna take a uh, the polygon tool just pretty much find anywhere, click, and just kind of cut it out, and then you guys about to recenter it, but that's not really that much of a big deal. Just fill it in with, let's say, a black color. Hit OK. And then you guys can have to center it. I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah. So uh, now that you have that, you guys can just add the A, or you guys can delete it. So I'm just going to duplicate this and hide it. So uh, if you guys want to just take out that black square that you did, all you want to do is make a new layer. Hold shift and then merge these two, hitting control E. Hold control, click on this little layer one right here, and then control X. That deletes it, so it'll be gone. And let's just say you want to add the A bar now. All you want to do is pretty much just get the same size bar, just take a rectangle tool, any color, any size. Make sure the strokes on like nothing, make sure it's white. Flip it horizontally, and then you guys can just pretty much add it to the side and move it downwards. And you guys got that so uh there's one example right there let's just say that you want to do another letter let's just say we're gonna use the letter g for my name garrett so uh basically if you guys know what a g looks like it's pretty much easy to do if you just like write it in the side just make a new layer and don't put your brush in that big of a size put it on like 10 on the hardness of like 100 and then just do like a little g so that's a g right there and uh pretty much you guys want to reference this off of that so let's just take the, we're gonna take the polygon tool we're gonna to rasterize it again and then excuse me not, not rasterize it we're gonna hit can oh yeah rasterizing it just because we already did it so you guys have this so uh basically the g is not hard to make you guys have to pretty much figure out what it looks like so we're gonna go from these sides around so if you guys have like a full circle let's just say this is a circle you guys know that the g pretty much cuts only right here in the middle so this is where we're going to cut it. So we're going to find our layer, 
and we're just going to pretty much take out a little sliver of the uh, logo right here and then find the exact size again so take another rectangle tool take your take your rectangle make one and then make sure there's no stroke on it make sure it's the same size too flip 90 degrees and then you guys can just center this right there and then you got an awesome looking G. So uh, basically this is not hard to do at all, I swear. And uh, if you guys wanna put that extra step into it, you can merge all these layers that make the logo. Hop over to Google and just type in like abstract wallpapers, copy it, paste it, and then hold Alt, and then just click it on your layer. And then you guys have a pretty cool looking logo with a pretty cool looking stock on it. So uh, basically this is actually really easy to do. I know you guys were not expecting anything like this, but uh, I have a full list on my phone right now of tutorials. And if you guys want, I will leave a form in the description below on you guys can submit your own portfolio or your own uh, tutorials, ideas, and I'll be glad to do most of them. So uh, at the end of this video, I want to tell you guys right now at 100 likes, I'm going to be releasing a full alphabet logo uh, hexagon logo template so it's gonna be from A through Z just all logos like hexagons and I'm gonna do this for you guys for 100 likes so bump up this uh, bump up the likes share it to your friends and uh, I hope you guys learned a lot if you have any questions comments or concerns let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you guys so much for almost 5100 subscribers and it's honestly insane on how fast I hit that so uh, hope to see you guys in my next video if you did enjoy this leave a thumbs up and it helps me get some motivation to do this and I hope to see you guys later on peace out